All right, take me through the bye week and just what was the vibe and the attitude or maybe just the tempo of practice inside this building last week. I feel like this has been a little changer because we never um, got a chance to get a bye week going into the playoffs, but a lot of the guys were still so energetic running around like it was a normal game week. You can just see the demeanor on a lot of, a lot of these guys' faces and uh, knowing that you know we're just a game away so uh, and a step closer. So I think everybody, and we have a lot of vets too, understand the um, significance of this bye week and get yourself healthy, get yourself mentally prepared to play any of the, the teams. And um, you know, luckily we already played the team uh, Jacksonville early on in the season, so we're kind of familiar with them. So everything works out. Uh, we got a week, you know, week start on a lot of these teams. Coach Tomlin kept your practice schedule the same, the days off. How much did he set the tone for what he was expecting from you guys and having people follow? Well, he knows um, a lot of the young guys, they follow behind the vets. And when, when Coach Tomlin, he demands something, and then a lot of these guys follow behind the vets. So uh, we just show them the way. We show them how to practice, and uh, we're hungry. Seven years in for me, and I know a lot of other guys have been here for so long and hasn't had a chance to even sniff a ring. But uh, last year, we were pretty close. and. Um, I feel like all arrows are pointing up, and I think that the guys that we have are in place to, to get this thing done, I think we do. Monday's practice was a bonus day. There was an upbeat to it. Antonio Brown was there. Was it weird not having him at practice for those few weeks where he wasn't even at in the building or watching? Oh, yeah, because you definitely, when, you, when, when it's a special player like that steps on the field, you definitely notice him. And um, just him being out there on practice, you saw, um, you know, everybody was just excited to just see him move around and seeing the, the work that he put in on his time off, getting his injury healed, and uh, it all paid off. I'm, I'm just excited to have him and uh, because he's a valuable piece to this offense and our team. The regular season matchup with the Jaguars, week five, you were not there due to injury. Is that extra motivation going into this game because it's a rematch, or are you just looking at it as it's a playoff game? It's a playoff game. It's, it's, obviously, it's a little redemption. We got to play a lot better than we did the first, you know, game in, but. Uh, you know, that's where um, we go through these type of things in the NFL. You play a team, then you can possibly see them again in the second go around. So you can't have the same mistakes as you did in the first time around. And, uh, I'm just excited. Uh, this is a great defense. All eyes are going to be watching. And um, I'm just looking forward to our group responding to the challenge. I know they do some, uh, some challenges at us, and um, we just got to respond. And speaking of challenges, what is the biggest challenge specifically for the offensive line as you get prepared to face one of the top defenses in the league? Just keep doing what we're always doing. We're the hardest working core group out there. We come to practice. We, our film study is incredible. Coach Munch keeps us prepared. And that just put us in a, uh, in a great position to uh, be, become successful. Um, uh, we have our, our, our captain, uh, Marquise Pouncey, in there leading the charge. And, uh, we're just going to follow behind his lead and uh, just get this train rolling. I think uh, it's a tough uh, matchup for us and whoever um, whoever we play. But you know, playoff ball. This is this is one up, and a lot of guys going to be uh, be after it. It's no secret how close Ben Roethlisberger and the O line are. He had his worst game of the season against Jacksonville in Week Five. Does that add extra fuel to the fire of you guys wanting to play well to keep Ben upright and let Ben be Ben? Oh yeah, because we know what kind of player Ben is. But um, you know, if a player is falling, we got to pick him up. Uh, no matter how down he's playing, we have to do just a better job all the way around. We know if we got our job done, um, then you know, all bets are off. He's going to light it up. But we have to do our job. It starts with the guys up front, and it starts with guys making plays on the outside. And um, you know, they're talented just like we are. But you know, when you have a guy like Ben Roethlisberger in, in your huddle, it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat a guy like him. Joe Hayden said as soon as he signed with Pittsburgh, he came here because of Marquise Pouncey, because of you, Coach Tomlin, a number of reasons. What is it like for you personally to have a former college teammate here on the Steelers now? Because I know how important it is to him. I know how bad he wants to win. He's always been a winner. And uh, unfortunately, he went to the wrong organization. But just to have him here, he fits in great with us. His, you know, the guys in the locker room love him. He brings a lot of energy out there. He brings a lot of swag out to the defense. and. Uh, I just, you know, just see Joe Hayden on our side is, I mean, who else would you want there? He's a lockdown cornerback. He's great. He's been playing at a high productive level for a number of years. And um, just get, having him a piece on our team is, is, is a plus. It, you know, it fills all boards. So much is made about Juju this year, what he's doing on and off the field and being the youngest player to accomplish so much. What is it like having him part of your offense and maybe just adding some, some fun, maybe some, I, I don't know, some excitement 
to the locker room and on the field. He's one of the best rookies I've ever been around. He's just having fun with it. And then uh, he loves playing the game of football. Everything he, that comes with uh, his job description, whether it's blocking, catching, um, playing special teams, he just loves it. He, he does it uh, 110%. And um, a guy like that, you just want to always applaud him and praise him, just motivate him to keep you know doing better and being better just because you see it, his level is so high. He can be one of the best in the league if he just continues to excel and just keep his head straight. He, he's, he's an awesome guy to play with.